Hello everyone. This is March 24th, Wednesday, 2021. 1 p.m. and it's 12 degrees Celsius. And today I'm down here in Spryfield and I'm beginning my walk at the plaza. I don't think it has a name of this plaza, but it is where the no frills and the Dollarama and Canadian Tiger is. I'm just going to see if we do have a name down here, but it's not on this sign. So we'll walk down just to see if this plaza does have a name, but I don't think it does. But it's in Fryfield, and it's uh, probably just about the only thing you could call a plaza right around here. So there's a Bolarama down here as well. So that's always good to know. Do, do enjoy bowling, so it's good to see a bowl of down here. So I'm just going to continue on across this intersection and uh, we'll just see what's down here. And then we'll work our way back. Okay? So I'm pretty much at the far end of Spry Field right now. And uh, we're going to walk hopefully all the way up through town, the town of Spry Field, and uh, have a look at it. I don't know a whole lot about Spryfield. There's a couple of places I come down here to. But other than that, I'm new to Spryfield as well, so. <coughs> All right, so there's no name on this plaza. It's where the Bolarama and No Frills, Dollarama, Ramarama. Yeah, I don't know about Ramarama. Anyways, um, Canadian Tigers down here. And uh, we're going to go back now to the to the main street, which I'm not sure if it's called Main Street, but we'll find out. And uh, I just thought I'd use this plaza as my starting point because it's a well-known area, and uh, anybody from Halifax has probably been down here before. If you haven't, well, I'll give you a tour of what Fry feels like. And. For any folks that's watching this video and have never been down here or don't know Halifax, Spryfield is practically Halifax. It's just a, a little space between, but hardly any any space between. So it's like a it's like a part of Halifax, but it's got its own name, Spryfield. Okay, so it's just like a suburb of, of Halifax. It's like being in Toronto and living in Mississauga or Scarborough. It's like that. Okay. Put it in perspective for you. So, there you have it. There's the plaza. We can see what's there. No frills, Lawton's Drug Store, a dentist, Dollarama, and Canadian Tire, and a bowling place called Bolarama. Okay. And over here you have a few little things. Uncle Buck's and a little general store, a tailor shop. These things are all good to know where they are if you ever need them. And so anyway, we'll get on our way and walk back up through town. There's not much more down that way, so I'm not going to go that way because it would take, just use up my uh, space on my phone and it wouldn't serve much purpose. There's not much down there. So we're going to go this way across Spryfield and uh, I guess we'll grade on up this way Whoops. and hopefully I don't get run over getting across this intersection that will be nice yeah all right away we go away we go we need it well I gotta say it's a real beautiful day here in Spryfield the sun's out there's some fluffy clouds but I just got my shirt on here today. I left my jacket in the car. I drove down here because it's kind of part of walk from Halifax. So I just drove down here and parked my car and um, started this video. And there's a sushi restaurant, Japanese restaurant, I guess, and a pawn shop in the back. 
we'll try to cover as much of the business as here as we can. So if anybody's watching this video and you're thinking of moving to Halifax, you might move to Spryfield, I, I think. I'm not saying from first-hand knowledge, but I believe I've heard that it's a little cheaper to live down here in Spryfield. That if you're renting, the rents are cheaper down here. And if you're buying a house, you can probably, probably get it cheaper in Spryfield than you could in Halifax or Dartmouth or some of the other places like that. So I hope I have my camera focused good. There, I think that's about it right there. Maybe up a little bit, maybe, maybe like that. All right, that's close enough, I'd say. And we'll let this car go by before we go across the street. No need to hold up traffic for nothing. <coughs> so if I see any churches along the way, I'll tell you what they are. That right there, that big white church, <coughs> is uh, it's called the Emmanuel Anglican Church. <coughs> and that over there is the head offices of the Salvation Army. It's not a church, it's uh, just a head office building. <coughs> when I first Arrived down here, I saw the guy putting the sign up there in the front of that church with the letters, putting the words up. He's got a little handle there, he puts the letters on and sticks them up on that sign. So I was just sitting in my car there watching him. And uh, then I came over here to McDonald's before I started my walk and had a coffee and an apple pie in there. And uh, that was it, then I started my walk. So I don't know if I mentioned or not when I started, but it was 1 p.m. in the afternoon. So I got all afternoon ahead of me here. Beautiful day. No, no complaints about this day. It's beautiful, absolutely, for March. When I can walk around in March without my jacket on, I'm not complaining. By the looks of that shopper's drug mart, has been here a while because the, the red sign, if you notice, is really faded. It's almost pink. It's, it's faded quite a bit from red. So it, I'd say it's been here quite a while. I've never walked around in Spryfield before. This is, we've driven through it a couple of times and uh, we stopped at McDonald's a couple of times before, and I think my son went in here to buy some uh, sinus medication or something one time. So we have been down here, but I never walked around the town. This is my first walk around Spryfield. So if this is your first time watching it, I'm with you. This is my first time walking around here today.
I said I'd point out all the churches. I think I saw a sign, yeah, that's uh, Stella Mervis Catholic Church. So, I've often remarked to my wife when we drive through Halifax, I said there must be a lot of Catholics in Halifax because the churches are all huge. And I've never seen a small Catholic church in Halifax. They're huge, huge churches. So I'm probably right. Well, we're going up a hill, and we'll see what's on the other side of this hill. I think the town hall is right, that building on the right up here, I think. But we'll see when we get up there. I think I noticed it before. I believe that's the town hall. But I could be wrong. No, I think it's one more building to the town hall. But we are close to it. I wasn't able to get out and do a video yesterday because I was uh, busy working at my part-time job. And, uh, but I'm making up for it today. And hopefully I'm gonna get out tomorrow to do another video. I know where I wanna go tomorrow. And uh, hopefully that works out. And, uh, We'll see you about Friday. Not so sure about that one yet. Depends on the weather. I heard there's some rain and snow flurries and things like that coming, but we'll see what happens when Friday comes. You never know, it could be good. That building is called the City Church. I don't know what denomination it is, it's just called the City Church. And Sobeys is over there. Sobeys Supermarket and the liquor store are combined, or end to end. And that right there is the town hall. And officially, I guess you're getting in Spryfield right here, because there's the sign, Welcome to Spryfield. And it's in front of the town hall, community office, they call it. And I think the police station is there because I've seen police cars parked there several times. So I believe it's uh, a police station as well as a few other things to do with the town of Spryfield. It might not even be a town because it says community office, doesn't say town hall. Community office? Yes, it's a police station. I see the sign on the, on the community office. Police station as well. And Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia, Correctional Services. So in other words, might be a jail in there. I'm not sure. But we better be careful. We don't want to wind up in there. So that's what I would take that to mean. So we'll walk a little further and see it. Spryville's not a big place, but it's like mostly on this one street right here, which it might be called Main Street. I'll find out the next intersection, what this is called, because it might not be Main Street. However, you'll notice the Halifax buses do come down here. This is a, a community within the Halifax region. So the buses still come down here. And I'd say fairly frequently because I've seen several buses since I've been here.
I hope I'm not talking too loud because my microphone is a little bit closer to me today because I'm not wearing a jacket and I just pinned it onto my where my shirt buttons up and it might be a little closer to me so I gotta try not to talk too loud. This street is called Herring Cove, Herring Cove Road and we're on Spry Street that way. Okay, here in Cold Road, this way. So, I'm really enjoying this walk with you folks today. And it's just so nice. I can't believe it. I can walk around, don't have to wear my jacket. My hands aren't tingling because they're cold. Uh, all those things that make it a little more difficult coming out here doing this when it's cold out. It's so nice just to walk down there and be warm. You don't have to wear your long johns. You don't have to have a big coat on, a tube down over your ears. So it's really great. Now I know we got a lot more days coming because we're not, we're just barely into spring now. So we got, a, we got three months of spring and then we got summer. So if this is going to be anything like the rest of spring, we're in for a nice long, a long haul of uh, good weather. Because this is very early for this kind of weather. I grew up in New Brunswick and I remember in March, the river was still froze over and uh, there was still quite a bit of snow on the ground. You'd be uh, pretty much to April before the snow was melted. And you might be the middle of April before the ice went out of the river. So it was a lot slower getting spring than it is here. This is a beautiful, beautiful part of the country to live in, the Halifax area. The only thing I can say that Temperatures are milder in the winter. They are milder, but we get a lot of wind. All winter long, the wind blows. So you've got minus seven before the wind. It usually feels like minus 14 or 15 with the wind. So even though the temperatures are low, you get, uh, are high, I should say, you get, you get a lot of days with wind. So be prepared for that if you ever come to Halifax. The summers are great, but the winters have a lot of wind. And wind is not a friend of YouTube makers, video makers, because it blows in your microphone. So you're always battling that. You're trying to keep your microphone shielded from the wind so it won't make a roaring sound in your on your videos. You just can't make a video without a microphone hooked to your phone. It can't be done in the winter time here because you never get a day with not enough wind. So you got to have an external microphone with a windscreen over it. And uh, a lot of times you end up putting your hand around it or putting it underneath your shirt or something because the wind's blowing so hard. So anybody comes here to me and you think about making videos in the winter time, figure out a way to keep your microphone sheltered from the wind, because there's a lot of wind. Because we're right by the ocean, the wind blows in off the ocean and, and uh, that kind of thing. And uh, the closer you get to the ocean, the more wind and the higher the elevation you're at, the more wind. I know places in Halifax, you don't hardly feel any wind. And then there's places you do, you feel a, a whole lot of wind. I'll just stop right here and let these cars go and we'll look around. See, we got a few apartment buildings in this neighborhood right here. And there's a fair amount of apartment buildings in, in, in Spryfield, down that way and, and up this way as well. There's quite a few apartments down here. And I've heard they're cheaper than in Halifax. 
So that's, that's a good thing to, to know. If you're moving to Halifax area, you might want to consider Spryfield as, a, as your home. A busy intersection right here. And I don't have, oh yeah, I do have a thing right here I can push. Good. I didn't see it. It's right beside me. There it is. And as soon as this arrow goes for the training, I'll probably get a walk sign. Here in Spryfield, there's a highway just out there, and it's a quick route back in from Spryfield if you don't want to drive through the streets. There's a highway out there, and it goes right through Fairview, and, and uh, I'm not sure how far you can go on it. Not, not really that sure about the highway, but I have been on it, and that road right there will take you out to the highway and the uh, other one up the other way where I first started will take you out there. There's two roads goes out there. So either one will work for you. Don't matter which one you take, whatever one you prefer. Neighbors would be uh, like a corner store, like a variety store. I don't know if you have them in Ontario, I'm not sure, I can't remember if they had them up there or not. And if they did, I don't remember seeing them, but maybe. Almost every variety store now sells coffee. So if you want to buy coffee and it don't have to be Tim Hortons or McDonald's, you can get coffee in there in a lot of places. That motorcycle had a good stereo on it. But I don't think I'll get in trouble for the music because he went by fairly fast. I doubt if we heard any more than about four bars of that song. So we'll continue on up through Spryfield here. And, and uh, my son is on a job down here. so. That's why I'm um, down here today. He's, I think I mentioned before that he was a sound tech guy. So that's what he's doing today, working at that. He's down here in Spryfield. So I drove him down and uh, I got a few hours before he's done. But if I get back in time, I might go wash the car because my, I looked at the car this morning and it was getting really dirty. So my, they do have a car wash here in Spryfield and it's right on this road. And I might just go there after I finish my video. I don't think we'll walk as far as the car wash because that's almost back into Halifax. City limits or it might be, it's close to it. So that's quite a walk from here. I wouldn't have enough time on my my video space to walk that far. One day when I'm a little more successful at this, I'll get something a little different. Maybe next year I'm going to get a something that I can put a card in. Because a card you can go a couple hours on it, maybe a little longer. And then if you fill it, you can just take it out and put in another one and keep on going this way here. Like, I'm limited to about an hour on this phone. Now, I am getting a new phone soon. So, when I get my new phone, I think I'll just keep this one. And I can still, you can still do videos on it, even if you don't have it hooked up for the phone and that. You can just, you still do videos with it. And, uh download it in the computer and so that's probably what I'll do. I'll keep this one. So if I'm out and I've done a hour video on my 
other phone, I can take this one and do a second video if I want to do two. Right now, I can't do two in one day because I don't have enough space on my phone. Unless I did two half hour ones. But I don't know, I'm not very good at making half hour videos because let me see, I'm at right now a half hour. And it went so fast, I don't even know. You know, when you're having fun, the time goes fast. And I really enjoy making these videos, so I guess that's why the time goes so fast. But I can't make a half hour video very often because it, it I just don't have enough time. It's not enough to make a, a good quality video. A half an hour is too quick. And I like to show places in a little more detail. This is the Spryfield Medical Center and the Guardian Drugstore and the Post Office, all combined. So if you get too many bills in the mail at the Post Office and it makes you sick, you can go to the doctor, then you can come down and get some pills for your headache. How's that? I've been told sometimes my humor isn't as, isn't as funny as I think it is, but it sounded funny to me, but you might not find that funny. My, I, have a, I have a special kind of humor, you got to kind of reach for it a little bit to find it. Sometimes I meet people on the street, not everybody's used to seeing these gimbals that we YouTubers carry around. And they look at you kind of funny with a wire hanging out of your phone, you're holding that up in front of you. They probably think it's some kind of a scientific instrument or something. And uh, they wonder what you're doing. I got kicked out of a little mall last week, or started to, and uh, because I walked through there with my gimbal in my hand. Some guy come up to me and uh, said, you're not allowed to use that in here. So I thought quick, and I said, all oh, my, my, well, it was true. I said, my sign came up on my phone that my battery was too cold, and I just stepped in here to warm my phone up. He said, oh, okay. And that was pretty much defused, that situation. Same thing happened in Scotia Square. I was walking with my gimbal in my hand in there. A lot of people like to see what it looks like in a mall. I don't see the harm in making a video showing people the inside of a mall. But anyway, one of the, he, was a, he wasn't a, a uniformed security, he was more like a detective. And he came up and asked me what I was doing. And I said, oh, I'm just making a, video for YouTube showing people what the mall looks like. And he didn't say too much and then one of the security guards was coming over. I said, I better not photograph him. He'll be telling me to get out of here. And he didn't answer it. He just smiled. And I uh, took my cue and headed for the door. Well, we're up. If you like Chinese food, there's a great place to go. Right there, Gold, Golden Fortune Restaurant. And I got to tell you, I absolutely love Chinese food. Whenever I go to a, a new city, I want to try out the Chinese restaurants because they love Chinese food. And I like similar types of food, like uh, different Asian foods and also Caribbean food. I love Caribbean food, the rice and the, and the black eyed peas and the, and, and the jerk pork and jerk chicken. Oh, ooh, yum, yum. So, Put in a little plug for that too. It's not the same as 
Asian food, but it's similar. It's got a lot of similar similarities. I think the spices is different and things like that. Maybe what makes it different. <coughs> it's still rice and it's still chicken and and, uh, and pork and all the same thing you'd have in Chinese food, but just cooked a little different. Okay, let's see. My son just sent me a message when he thinks he'll be done, but I'm making my video, so I'm going to try to get my video done before I contact him. And I couldn't read it good because it's, I'm out in the sun and the sun shined on my screen, and uh, so it was it was a little difficult to read it. But I seen something about I should be done by, but I didn't catch the time. So okay, we'll get across here. I see what the bus is doing now. This bus comes out to Herring Cove Road and then goes to Mumford Terminal. And here's Irving. Now, anybody doesn't know or never been to Atlantic Canada, Irving is the most common site you'll see. Irving owns half of Atlantic Canada. They own the gas stations, Several of the trucking companies, lumber mills, pulp and paper, fuel, they're into everything and they own half of the, the maritime provinces. New Brunswick is probably the most Irving owned province in Canada. Nova Scotia's got a lot of Irving stuff. My wife works for Irving because she works for Midland Transport and that's an Irving company. And there are several trucking companies that belong to Irving, which is Sunbury and uh, they used to have RST hauled fuel and I don't know if they still have RST or not. I haven't seen one in a while. They might still exist. Possibly. And I think, I'm not sure if they owned Brook, Brookville and it was going. I think Brookville's shut down now. So I haven't seen a Brookville truck on the road in a long time. But I think they were Irving as well. So Irving owns a lot of stuff in Atlantic Canada. But I gotta say, their, their truck stops are the best, which they call them Irving Big Stops. And they're probably better equipped than most truck stops. And lots of parking for trucks, and they almost all of them have a Tim Hortons in their parking lot somewhere. And Everyone that I can think of has a Tim Hortons pretty well. There might be a few that don't. Well, let's see, how long have I been walking here now? I've been 33 minutes so far. So I'm okay for now. I don't have to film going back because there's, you just see the same thing going back. So when I stop, I'll end my video. And then I'll see what time my son wants me back there. And uh, I'll walk back and get him. And then, I'm not sure what we'll do after that. I'm not sure. Now there's a picture of spring right there. 
somebody out raking the lawn and bagging it all up and putting it in bags. Yeah, that's a sure sign of spring right there. Hi. Hi. Now that's a nice picture of spring right there. I'm trying to, trying yep. to make it come. Yep. I love the way you can walk around in Halifax and you can talk to strangers and they don't eye you suspiciously and and uh, it's great. It's a very friendly place here. Which if you're a person that likes to chat with people and you're a friendly person yourself, you enjoy that because it's nice being able to just walk by and say hi to somebody and you don't know and just a little couple of words and continue on your way. Well, I've come quite a ways in this walk and once you down there, start down over this hill, you're pretty much in Halifax. So I think I'm going to turn around somewhere here soon because it's just houses for a ways. Then I'd be almost down to where I wash my car. And if you look in the distance, that's Halifax in the background, way over there in the hills. It's just down under that hill a little bit, and you're in Halifax. So we always can cover Halifax another day. We do that a lot anyways. And uh, so I guess we'll go back this way now. And I'll, I'll find a good spot to end this video somewhere. So I'm not just sure where I'm going to do that but we'll we'll go back this way now and there's the Melville Professional Center over there where they have a fitness and physio and denture and things like that denture clinic So nice when spring is finally here. Winter is behind us. Now I heard that on possibly on on the weekend we might see some wet snow and rain. Don't think there's any accumulation, but we might see some wet snow with the rain. The temperatures are going to get down to one or two there for a, a short time. But that's to be expected, I guess, with uh, this time of year. And um, so we'll see what happens. But I know the temperatures will be back up again. So I need a good background to end my video. Let's see, right now I'm at 30, 38 minutes. So I can go a little bit more. And... Uh, I just walked the other way on the street, so a lot of this stuff will be kind of familiar to you because I just showed it, but it was from the other angle. So we'll kind of look across the street a little bit. And uh, I noticed going this way, the sun is shining. There's a reflection on my phone, and it's hard to see the, the road real good. To see if I'm aimed just right because the sun is shining on my screen but I see good behind me I see perfectly behind me but anyways I hope I got it aimed pretty good so I see uh, maybe somewhere up around this Irving I'll stop there and end this video. So this has been a walk around Spryfield, a little community of Halifax area. And I can't tell you the population because I didn't see a sign anywhere that said the population. But I'm sure that's available online if you want to know. 
And so anyway, we walked from one end of it pretty much to the other end. I looked at what's here. It's a busy street for a small place. This Heron Cove Road, that's the name of this street. It's not Main Street, it's Heron Cove Road. And it's very busy. There's a lot of traffic on this road because people, a lot of people live out here and they commute back and forth. And there's a lot of businesses out here. There's a lot of things to come down here for. Uh, sometimes people just come down for a drive. They want to somewhere different to go and they know there's a lot of food places down here. So they take a drive down Fryfield and go to a restaurant or a coffee shop or something like that. There is everything down here. There's got a lot of businesses on, on this road. So here I am at the Irving. I think I might just stand right in here and end my video. Okay, so here we are looking at the Irving with the Circle K store, and there's a there's a coffee shop in the end of it. It's a Tim Hortons, and that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this little video of Spryfield, and until next time, you have a great day, as I will as well. Bye for now. Talk to you all later, maybe tomorrow.